Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode here on our single player survival Minecraft world. It is of course going nighttime because we're starting our episode now and what I have done in between this episode and the previous episode has been finishing this off. Now, I don't want you guys to lose faith in me and in fact I can fi- oh no that's not a problem, I thought I could see, see something not lining up there. Um, don't want you guys to lose faith because this is not looking exactly like what we wanted to look like. I guess shape wise it's looking pretty damn good for our windmill but it, overall it, it needs a lot more work. So what we're going to be doing today, of course, is getting that right. I don't want to fall in that hole there. Good. We're definitely going to be getting that right. And another thing which has kind of grown on me is those fences that we did at the end of last episode where I was just trying them out. They definitely do 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 wonders. I think so. So let's uh, let's get going on a bit of stuff that I want to discuss over here. Now, you can see I've changed from the stone over to the oak. I think that looks significantly better. I think it makes the build a little bit more brighter. And the stone was obviously, as I said, a temporary block. We were going to see, in fact, I was thinking maybe doing a stony kind of thing with cobblestone or maybe stone bricks. Uh, but I'm glad I didn't. I'm glad we didn't do that. The next thing is we still have to fill in these middle pieces. And you can see I've tried in with a bit of something like this. And I think this will do us the trick that we need. I've pushed the roofs. This was actually like this last episode. I was trying to push the roofs out and see what that looks like. Uh, I'm not 100% sold on it, but we might still we might still see what we can do about that because I, I wanted to just try something a little bit different because uh, this series is all about learning about building for me at least and you got to try things that you think won't work anyway, but try them anyway and I think it's it's worthwhile. Now one thing that I do need to do here and this work it wouldn't be like a build of ours if we did not do this and that is break some grass. No, it is to put some supports in because a lot of our stuff is pretty much everything is uh, built around the supports of our builds. So what we want to do now is we want to put in some oak logs because I I dare say it again, we're going to be using oak. You know what? You can't blame me for using oak all the time. I love the stuff and it's not my fault because it's a beautiful, beautiful block. So just that is that is the ideal wood block to me at least. <laughs> and uh, what we're going to do is we're going to be putting in a bit of support here and maybe wrapping it around. Now this is where we, we run into a little bit of trouble. And also this is the reason why oak is such a, a useful wood like log type. Because this over here, look at that, look at the, the color there. If we wanted to have a stair block that matched that color, we've got a stair block that's so so close or even a, a slab that's so so close to that in spruce look at that so I'm, I'm pretty happy with the fact that we can do that we can put them together and I know you from close it up close it looks a little bit too too different but you can see that from afar you can't really notice much of a difference despite the the spruce having a little bit more of a redness I guess just slightly more of a red tinge to it now the plan is the reason why I pulled up the spruce and do I have enough spruce on me. I think I might just do a few more of these. Uh, but the reason I pulled up the spruce is because spruce is obviously going to be used there and I'm planning on perhaps doing a, a few spruce things like the spruce uh, sideways horizontal support, sorry. Because uh, I think they might be might be an interesting thing and I've, I've, I haven't done them in a build yet. I've, I've messed around with them in creative worlds but I haven't actually messed around with them in our survival world. So, oh no, yep, come on. Get up there. There we go. Perfect. All right, so let's work out where we want our first. Let's make some stairs first. Let's let's double check where we want our first support in. Because this is the way I, I generally build things. I do a shape. You can see I worked this shape in after I built the, the basic cylinder and I've kind of worked it around. Now we're going to be putting in our supports and then we'll see what we do next. So over here, I'm thinking we could probably do a support up to about this run here and that will be a good way of us hiding this hard line. You can see where that ends, that ends, that ends. We'll have to work out a way of hiding that. So that will be something a bit interesting. In fact, let's just do it. We'll replace that one there with some oak. So we'll see how that looks. Let's get rid of that. And I'm pretty sure I won't have a block under there, will I? No, I've done such a good job of clearing out <laughs> all the... Uh, Oh, a lot of the rubbish, like, scaffolding blocks from the bottom at least. So let's do that, which isn't too useful for us at this stage. So we'll do these, and we'll go up again and see what we can do about this. So I'm thinking once we get to this, is it this height here or is it... Let me just check. I'm pretty sure we went too high. 
Now it is, it's this height here. Once we get here, what we want to do is, in fact, I don't know. I feel like this height is incorrect. Let's just go back a bit. No, that's right. Uh, what we want to do is we want to get that horizontal support going in there. And in fact, just having this already is making a little bit of a, a difference to this build, just breaking up the, the, the bone blocks a bit. So how about we try and connect it across there? Now, I don't want to just do a straight line because that's a bit boring, but wrapping stuff around stuff in Minecraft is not too easy. So perhaps we could try something a little different. And what we could maybe do is maybe for us at least, I'm sure it's not different for a lot of people, but for us, I want to try perhaps putting in a few slabs hanging down a little bit. And we'll see how that looks. I don't know. By the way, that spruce that we're standing on right now, like underneath us, that's going. That's, that's not going to stay here. So perhaps we can try doing something along these lines here to kind of break it up around the corners just a little bit. So like that and there. So that it, it comes down a little bit more gradually because it's the corner pieces there that are the problem. And we'll put one in over there. So let's check how this works. We'll leave, okay, I guess. I was actually gonna probably put that straight, but that's all right, it might even, might be a good mistake to have made. I think, I know it looks a bit odd, but I feel like I can work with this idea. Uh, what we'll need to do, yeah, I think we can. And I want this to be floor, I want three floors in this, by the way. I want the bottom floor, I want the second floor, and I want the top floor over there. Or maybe even a fourth floor, I guess, if we, if we, if we do have space for it, we'll do an attic. But three main floors, and the whole logic behind that is, uh, because I played a game which I know a lot of you guys would have played, Back in the day, uh, well, a lot of people still played, but I mean, I used to play it a while ago. And that is a game which I've, I'm pretty sure I've spoken about here is uh, RuneScape. And a lot of you guys will know that game. And what, what I uh, remember from RuneScape was the windmills in there. This is kind of like where I've got this idea, at least, for the, uh, for the design of the windmill, like the functionality of the windmill. Not the actual windmill shape or anything like that, but the uh, functionality of it, at least, comes from the game... Where we, where you used to, uh, have to go up to the top, drop all your stuff into a hopper, not a hopper like our hoppers, but we might even use a hopper like our hoppers, uh, but drop all your stuff into a hopper, the wheat, and then go down one floor, grind it, and then collect it on the floor below, and it's all fed by gravity, and I'm not too sure whether that's the way these things actually work, uh, but I like that way, and I think we're gonna go for it, so that's, that's the reason why we're doing that. Let's check, do we have to go up one more again? Man, feels wrong. All right, so we have to copy what we've just done here, and this is this is where things get a bit annoying because I could very quickly mess up here. So we need two, one, that two and one, and then we need. I think this one I filled up. Yeah, I would have filled that up. So we do two, one, and two. Does that go two there? Yeah, go, they'll be on top. So we'll try this out. So we go two. No, that. Two, one, and then two. There. That's, that's the way I did it, I think. Let's check this out. So, we should have a full block. No, on that level. Okay, yeah, I get, I get what's going on there. I get what's going on. So, we needed two down that way. Okay, never mind. Okay, I think this works. Let's, let's jump back and have a look. Yep, ignore the stone bricks. That will definitely work. So we can get this around the bottom piece, which I think I'll do now. We can then try it again on the top piece and then try it one more time over there because that piece over there is where our windmill, actual, the fan, like the fan's going to be coming out of. Or well, not the fan, the, what are they called? The sails, I guess. And also, by the way, remember when we were speaking about last episode, I'm pretty sure I mentioned it. Was at least in my in my brain. I'm pretty. There was one clip which didn't record sound, so I had to cut it out. Um, and I maybe mentioned it in that, but I was thinking of maybe trying a horizontal one over here. Now the issue with that is doing a horizontal one is quite difficult, and it didn't really work out very well in terms of getting the dimensions right, at least for me in a creative world. And I definitely have given it a go, but I, I think we could have some other sales that we'll give a go going straight on. Which, despite being a little bit less less risky, which we do like to do a few risky risky builds, I guess. Uh, but despite it being less risky doing it straight on, 
we we'll we'll choose the the simple way out and make it look a little bit nicer. I think I think that'll probably be the the smarter option. So let's do that. And what I'll do in the meantime, guys, I'll clear this up. All right, guys, we're back, and you can see that stuff has happened there. Quite a bit of stuff. That's the uh, windmill right there. But we're up here in our dragon egg duplicator, which is actually meant to be a lighthouse. So let's check how many dragon eggs we got. I thought it would be an interesting thing to check. You can see it. There's definitely a few there still, that's for sure. Uh, yep, yep, yep. It's still duplicating, that's for sure. Eight dragon eggs, that's insane. Uh, we'll have that put in four there. And uh, I don't know what we're going to do with all these dragon eggs. Oh man, why did I do this again? Okay, well, there's a dragon egg on the loose. Let's uh, put that one on the loose as well. <laughs> oh, we'll find them at some stage. Man, what am I going to do with so many dragon eggs? This is insane. I, um, I'm so glad we ran into this uh, to duplicate the unduplicated, well, the, the single item in the game. This is the only thing that I can think of that you only get one of in this game. Can't think of anything else. I'm pretty sure that's it. Uh, what I want to do quickly is I want to just sleep the uh, night gone. Let's get in here, jump in there, and wait around for a few seconds. I actually want to check what armor this is because I actually need to get what is it? Uh, oh, I've got depth strider. Never mind. And we don't even have boots in that guy. Don't even worry about it. All right. So let's go back up here and uh, we'll we'll show you what we've done. Just I'm just super excited about all these dragon eggs. Like, look at that. Uh, what can we do with that? I, I need to figure something out. That is really awesome. All right, so jump, get down. Perfect. All right, so this is what it is looking like. I've done the three levels like I had planned. It, it actually didn't go too, uh, too rocky. It was pretty, pretty smooth in terms of what we've done, in terms of what this is. It did take a little bit of time, I think. Yeah, a few days, a few Minecraft days, that is. And I think it, it looks all right. I'm, I'm sure we're still going to add more, for sure. Like, we're definitely going to add more detail in there and stuff like that. But as far as getting rid of that ugly shape that we had, spot on. We got rid of it. That's perfect. We've, we've done what we needed to do there. That's for sure. Now, the next thing which we do want to, well, which I want to get into, is probably getting a bit of path done. Because I want to get this done along with this. And not only path, maybe even a bit of crop done in this episode. So... What we want to do is we want to work out a way, actually, you know what we need to do. I'll tell you what we need to do. What we need to do is we need to get ourselves a diamond hoe. And I know it's like the first rule of Minecraft. Never, ever, ever, ever make a diamond hoe. Unless you're doing a stupidly large amount of crops. In which case, you're fine. You're cool. No one can laugh. All right. Uh, that's all right. We'll walk it. We'll... What? That is insane. Okay, uh, we'll walk the rest of this. So we need to get some diamonds. I'm pretty sure we've got some in our ender chest. So we'll be all right to go straight into our enchanting room. And I'm, I don't know if you can actually enchant a hoe. I've never, never ever had the need or never ever tried, but we have to do this. We have to get our diamond hoe ready uh, to be used because this, is, this will actually be a very odd thing to be making. Do we have any just loose diamonds? No, but we've got these. Let's do two of those and I should have books just as spares, but that's all right. I've put them in our main storage room. Get that out and get some diamond hose going on here. So first one, let's hope we get... All I really want is... I, I don't know if you can get efficiency or anything. I don't know what that would do for you, but I just want unbreaking. Turns out you can't enchant a diamond hose. Let's check if we have unbreaking on a book here. I'm breaking feather falling. I don't want that one just as it is. Uh, I'm breaking fire protection. In fact, oh, is that on the helmet? Okay. So I was going to say that would actually be pretty good to just put on something. Power flame, because we've got a few uh, fire protection threes. Efficiency, power, mending. I think we might have to use this one here. The I'm breaking feather falling. Uh, uh, we will we'll be all right. I don't think we need feather falling too badly. Okay, I'm breaking through. That's all right. And maybe if we do get low on it, we can put mending on it. <laughs> oh, man. It's so odd making one of those. And let's head off then, I guess. Oh, no, we'll put these away. We don't need that. We don't need that. We'll keep that. Pretty sure that's all right. All right. Uh, by the way, this is a place we do need to fix up. This place in here. Maybe if we get a bit of time in these 20 episodes, we will come back here and do that. In fact, we've got a lot of... A lot of side projects going on is in like relation to what we're doing here and man that fire in there every time I walk past 
scares me. Uh, so what I want to quickly get before we go to the doing the farming stuff, we need to get some buckets. And I'm not too sure where all of our buckets are. They're probably in a shulker box somewhere, but there's a bucket of water. Uh, one bucket will do for now. We can just make an infinite water source somewhere. In fact, let's just make another bucket just in case. Perfect. All right. Now, now we can go and get to our farming area. So what I'm thinking with this area, at least, is what we need to do, let's just do this, is get our crops to be functional. Because I want this farm to be a functional Minecraft farm, if you get what I mean. Like, I want it to still play along things that you would want. For instance, having water nearby to make sure your crops grow fast enough. Because, I mean, you want your crops to grow fast enough. I don't want to just plant them and wait an extra long period of time for them to all grow and then leave them like that. I want to harvest them if I want to harvest them. And we've got the wheat or whatever we want growing back as soon as possible. And I think that'll be quite accurate to the, uh, well, true to the game, I guess, true to the way the mechanics of the game work. Now, let's quickly plan this out. I want to put in a bucket, maybe what, well, like this is actually something that I think will work quite well is doing things like this. And this is something I actually got from the Kerashcraft server spawn here, which is getting, Doing this little rim here with the way you got like a, a drop down and using that as something to Yeah, hide your water. So let's do that. I, I'm not so sure if this is the exact way it's been done But it's definitely a way that it is done and we can also just put it under there for instance You see do something in fact, we need to we need to quickly just make an infinite water source. Let's do that Let's just make it a four may as well and do this here quickly Get that there there. Perfect. All right. Now we can get to actual building of this stuff. So let's grab another one in there. Good. All right. So this is the way it's going to be working, I guess. Just doing a bit of farming like this, just getting this coming up to more or less the path. I don't want it to be all the way up to the path. And I also want to create a bit of like greenery inside of this. So, and obviously scarecrows are a thing. We're definitely going to be doing scarecrows. I'm not too sure how we're going to do them, but we're going to be doing them. Uh, does the water sh does the water go all the way out to there? That's actually impressive if it does. Let's get some of these. I am actually quite amazed that it does, to be completely honest. I don't think that's water. What happens if I get rid of that? That's, it's not like a lighting glitch or something on it. No. That's interesting. Okay, let's see how far this water goes. So, this is the plan. We're going to be doing some of these sorts of things here. Yeah, the water's not going that far. However, we can do smart stuff. Like here, look at this. Because we're going to be putting in a fence here. Maybe do something along these lines here. We could do it like a fence there. Put one there. And then inside here, where we've uh, just hoed down, we can... Man, I, I'm just going to get two of these. We, <laughs> uh, we could just put a bit of water in. Like... There? Why is it not, why is it not placing? There we go. Good. See? Easy. So a bit of hidden water, we'll try our best to hide it a bit better than what it is hidden right now. And this will at least just make our crops functional. Because I, like I like to stay true to the survival Minecraft thing while building, because we could just be a plain building series, but we have a survival Minecraft building series, you know what I mean? We need this thing to be survival Minecraft in a building series, I guess. So let's quickly go head down, grab a few more seeds, and then we'll come back up here and check what's, what's going on there. I'm not too sure whether we have enough seeds. Look at that. <laughs> yeah, we'll definitely be all right for seeds. Look at that. Even more. Uh, a bit in there, I guess, but nothing in there. Now, I want to quickly show you. Look at this. These guys are slacking off, doing nothing. And I don't know whether this is like a glitch in the game. It happened relatively recently. Uh, maybe those guys will eventually come past and replant. Now, I did clear this out the other day for a bit of the wheat because we wanted to do some hay bales. But what these guys did is they replanted it and they just don't want to harvest again. And I'm not too sure why they're not harvesting. It doesn't make sense that they just stopped all of a sudden. And I think it was still while we were in, while we were in 1.10, which is very, very strange because, yeah, it just doesn't make sense. Now, because we don't have ladders out of here just yet, or, or our elevator, because damn, translocation is fixed. Oh, man. <laughs> we got to take the long way out of here, which is going through these tunnels here, which are unfinished. Uh, but going through them and walking all the way to the other side of our village to get back to our farmland. It's it's quite a silly way. I probably will, should fix it. And I'll fix it just as we finish in that area, of course. So it won't be too much use to us, but we'll fix it eventually. So it looks like this process here is probably going to take a little bit longer than what we originally, well, what I thought it would. It's uh, 
a bit of planning, a little bit of planning at least. Majority of it is just uh, continuously placing down dirt and seeds. <laughs> That's pretty much it, uh, as, as expected, I guess, in that respect. Uh, what I've done, I'll show you. We'll have a look up now. I just want to get a little bit more of this area done, then I'll have a look and see what we've done. Because it's kind of fun to look up and see you get a bit further than what you thought you were. Uh, sun's going down, all right, as per usual. Let's step back now and see what we've got. Uh, okay. Stuff's growing already, which is kind of cool. Yeah, that's actually, that. I reckon that'll be all right. The way this works with these crops and stuff here, we might even have some just plain tilled soil without any crops planted in it, as if it was going to be, be uh, used a bit later. That won't be over there, I don't think. I think we'll do it somewhere else. But I think this will actually be quite an interesting thing for our farm. I wish there was a way, uh, tell me if there is, I'm pretty sure there is in a way, to stop a plant from growing. If there's any like hacky way to do it, uh, <laughs> just to get stuck halfway in growth. If not, what I think I'll do is I'll plant a few carrots in here, or potatoes, or something along those lines to make it look like some of these wheat plants, well, these, these wheat things are growing just slowly but surely. So is this, this one here won't get any water. So we might have to have a look at getting that more accurate. Another thing is, by the way, which I'm planning on doing, is adding in underneath here, you'll see like this here, it's got this green underlie because, under, underlining, because what's happening is the, sl the, the slabs aren't a full block and they don't crush the ground below them. So if you put those on top of them, it's not going to happen. It's just, well, it won't suffocate the, the grass away from that block, which is a bit odd, but it is the way it works. It's the way this game works. So what we're going to do is we're probably just going to change that bottom bit out to, out, why can't I speak? Out to the, what is that? Spruce slabs. And we'll get that going on that. So that shouldn't be too hard. And in fact, I've actually done it on our path blocks where they kind of stick out a little bit of the ground. A little bit of ground like that. So there we go. That's pretty much all done to where we've we've got here. And I don't want to do this all in one big go. And I'm gonna gonna leave sneaky crafting tables around the place. I don't want to do this all at once because obviously that's a bit boring and it takes forever to do. And we may as well just spread the work out, uh, workload out over the next few episodes. But yeah, that's that's that'll look good. Just think of when we've got a bit more of this stuff growing here. Now I'm planning on maybe splitting this up, as I say, a bit more than what it is now. So we'll do. Wheat here, carrots, beetroot, all those sorts of things. And then we'll go down that way and do pretty similar sorts of things, I would imagine. Unless we've got some other ideas, but I think this will actually look alright. Let's have a look from the sky, because that's always a fun thing to do. So, uh, where can we jump off that won't, like, be a, be a bummer? Because there's a few things where you jump off, and like this, where you, sometimes you get it. Okay, this is that time, which is great. <laughs> okay, so that's actually... That actually won't look too bad, I think, the way that I'm seeing it right now. Worth that little bit. In fact, we'll go around from this side, because this will probably be a bit better. There we go. Yeah, once we've got this outline here, I think this will actually work really, really well. I'm actually kind of excited for this. I'm, I'm well, very excited for it, but... In general, I didn't think I would be so excited for the crops. <laughs> oh man, that's awesome. Well, I think for today, guys, this will be our episode. I think we've gone well over our time that I, I normally do. So that's that's good. A bit of extra, I guess. Uh, maybe I'm wrong, but I, I think so. Uh, but yeah, guys, thanks for watching for today's episode. And I will see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.